Hey guys, Siren speaking with Earthwalker Primitive. Uh, on my Facebook, I started doing a little bit of a pictorial uh, tutorial for uh, for knots, cordage, and, and tying, and uh, rope work. And uh, I'm going to continue that one into my videos also. I do have a section for uh, um, on my YouTube for uh, cordage, knots, rope work, lashings, anything and everything involved in uh, cordage and, uh, and rope tying and, and whatnot. And we're going to and I'm going to be adding a lot to that, and this is the first video for that section. And uh, but I just want to give you um, an overall of what's going to be going on in that section. I'm going to be talking about all different kinds of cordage and using different kinds of cordage, everything from uh, uh, cotton rope and uh, heavy-duty rope, climbing rope, propelling rope, uh, and such of that nature. Um, we got you know uh, 550 cord, paracord, which is different than 550 cord. We'll discuss that in the future. Bank line. Uh, nylon, uh, corded, braided nylon, uh, jute twine, uh, handmade uh, uh, inner bark fibers, and, and even a uh, uh, sinew, uh, animal sinew. And um, so we're going to be going over all different kinds of things uh, with all those different types of cordage, and uh, and also uh, a lot about uh, knots, how to tie knots, uh, lashings, and a lot of rope work. Uh, is going to be involved in that video. Also, some tutorials on making cordage and uh, repairing cordage, doing all kinds of things like that. So it's going to be an ongoing tutorial. I'm going to have both in pictures on my Facebook uh, in the uh, the uh, cordage and knot section, and also in this section on my YouTube for uh, for videos. Um, I'm keeping them both up to date as much as I can, and uh, I'm going to correspond um, both of them together every time I up update. Uh, you know the, the pictures are nice, but some things you need to, to see firsthand. Some people see can look at a pic, picture tutorial of a, of a rope no, knot tying. Excuse my time. Yeah. Anyway, some people can look at a you know a, a pictorial tutorial of a tying knots and learn it perfectly fine. Others need to see it uh, be, being done. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing in this section. And uh, the first thing we're going to do. In this video, is I want to go over uh, uh, terminology and um, the terminology of rope tying, and that's an important uh, thing. And I hope, uh, well, obviously, if you're watching this, you're, you're watching it. But I hope everybody that looks at my uh, uh, knot tying tutorials and lashing tutorials sees this first, because um, when I explain uh, the different processes we're going to do, I'm going to be using certain terms, and if you don't understand those terms, it's going to be hard to grasp what you're doing. You don't know what parts of the rope are being used, or when I say this part to this part, or whatnot. So that's what this tutorial is going to be about, and we're going to get ready to start that now. All right, so I got myself set up here. To show you some, uh, to demonstrate and explain um, some different uh, uh, terminologies um, for uh, knots and rope tying. And uh, obviously, I got myself my 100% cotton rope here, and um, that's what I'm going to be using for that. But uh, obviously, this is a rope cordage line, however you want to call it, or whatever you want to call it, and it's immaterial. But there's two ends to a rope, okay? The part that you're actually using and you're tying with, whatever you're doing your lashing work with or tying your knot, this is called the running end, okay? Because you're actually using it, running with it, you know? Running out the line, working with the line, you're going to be tying and doing everything with this end, so this is the running end. So whenever I refer to running end of a rope, this is the end I'm referring to. The rest of the rope, the coil or whatever, or the end that you're not using, is called the standing end. So if I'm referring to the standing end, I'm talking about the rest of the rope, which is usually not in your hands, because you usually have the running end in your hand. Now when you're talking about holding the rope, and I explain take the running end and run it over the standing end, Obviously, this hand is holding the running end, this hand is holding the standing end. So if I say wrap the running end around the standing end, it means take this end and wrap it around that end. All right? The next term we're going to go over is the bite. All right? A bite is simply taking a rope and bending it to form a bend in the rope. Just my camera up a little bit. All right, that's a little better. The bite, like I said, is taking the rope and bending it to form a bend. You're not forming a loop, you're just forming a bend. 
bringing the two, the running end and the standing end, parallel together to form a curvature in the rope or in the cordage. That is a bite. So whenever I refer to grabbing a bite or make a bite, it means do that with your rope. Simply bend it down so that the two ends are parallel and you have and you have a curvature in your rope or in your line. All right. Now the next term is the overhand loop. And then after that, we'll come out the underhand loop, which are two different things. And it's important to understand these two, uh, two loops because you, if you're supposed to tie an overhand or make an overhand loop in a knot and you make an underhand loop in a knot, that knot's going to fail, plain and simple. Uh, it's two simple things. Overhand loop. Now, you're looking the opposite direction of me, all right? Imagine this as if you're facing the rope yourself. You're holding it in your hands as I am. An overhand loop is taking your running end and placing it over top of the standing end to form a loop, okay? So that's as you would look at it if you were tying it, all right? If you were tying it, you're facing it, you would take the running end and place it over top of the standing end. So the running end is on top or it's over the standing end. That's why it's called an overhand loop, all right? Now an underhand loop and I'll hold it once again just like you would be looking at it. So you take that running end, place it under that standing end. All right, to form an underhand loop. All right, now it's important, like I said, you know, if I say you need to make an overhand loop or an underhand loop in any knot work or any tying, it has to be done that, that way, that specific way, and, uh, or else that knot will fail, it won't work properly. All right. Um, and like I said, you can, I'll show you both of them together. Did this in the pictorial so you could see it. But here you have an overhand loop, all right? And here you have an underhand loop. Got to do it on the ground. Get up. Ah, I can't. Underhand loop. All right? And then an overhand loop right there side by side so you can see. You see with the underhand loop the running end goes under but in the overhand loop the running end goes over the standing end. Alright. Next term we're going to go over is whipping. Alright. This here is an unwhipped rope. Alright. This end is a whipped rope. And I'll bring it up a little closer. And what whipping is, whipping is just the cordage used and the methods used to Secure the end of a rope to keep it from fraying. Okay, and I will have a video on how to whip the end of a rope. That'll be part of rope repairing and also part of rope cutting. And the reason you want to do that and make sure your ropes are whipped: one, having it tight, a nice little tight um, end of a rope makes it easier for threading it through stuff, through uh, knot work or through items, blocks or, or hooks or whatnot. And uh, the unwhipped rope will fray. Okay, almost any kind of rope or cordage you make will fray. All right, even 550 cord will fray at its end, and paracord. All right, now you can whip this, but it's easier just to melt it down. And we'll go over this when we discuss 550 cord. Like I said, that is a whipping. All right, so when I refer to take the whip to make whipping of the rope or take a whip, yeah, use the whipping of the rope or something. That is what I'm referring to, and this is unwhipped. You see it frays and it comes undone, all right? Not only is that destroying a rope and making you lose rope and cordage, but it's also a safety factor, all right? Whenever you use rope for any uh, security measures, you want to have it, have it whipped. All right, the next term we're going to go over is a turn. All right, I got myself my little cross beam here my, on my wood. A turn, and this, and this will be used a lot, especially in this term here. So uh, a turn around something is simply taking the running end of the rope, running it underneath or around, back to the opposite side. So once again, the uh, standing end, which is here, and the running end are parallel to each other, all right? It's not two twists. It's just, it's not even really a twist, it's just wrapping it around, coming around. That is a turn, all right? Now, a round turn, and I'll start from the beginning, a round turn 
is a turn with another turn so it actually does wrap around the object, whether it's a log, another piece of rope, a pole, or whatever. Uh, and you, once again, you're, once again, I'll show you, you have a turn, and then to make a round turn, it's one turn, and then another turn back around the object the same direction until the two ends are parallel with each other. Alright, so right now that's the end of the uh, um, terminology tutorial that I'm going to go over right now. Um, they're, they're the uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight basic terms that you need to know for these tutorials to help you understand it when I explain some of these. Because when I do explain, do this with this piece of rope, put it here, run it through this, I am actually going to use those terms so that way uh, you can get it in your set in your head to use the proper terminology when we talk about knots and ropes. Anyway, I'm Sergeant Speakman with Earthwalker Primitives. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you keep a, an eye out for all the next videos coming up. Uh, they should, we have a couple coming up pretty quick. Uh, today I'm actually out here, came out to the woods for the day to do a couple more videos. So uh, uh, there'll be have a couple uh, uh, knot and rope cordage videos coming up pretty quick. Thanks for watching.